Have you ever waited until the last minute to pack for a trip? Whether it's a small day hike or a big road trip with friends, nothing is worse than starting a trip on one or two hours of sleep because you stayed up all night packing because you procrastinated. I don't know if this is just me or anybody else or a lot of other people, but as a photographer, I'm a little scatterbrained and I tend to not only wait until the last minute to pack, but also get sidetracked by just a handful of things when all I really need to do is grab my gear. I keep telling myself, just grab your gear, throw it in your bag and go. Just grab your gear, throw it in your bag. You know what you need. You never forget anything. Well, what happens is I always wind up missing one or two small things. I just misplace a bracket or a plate or a lens cloth or some sort of thing. And that just sidetracks me a little bit here and there. And before I know it, I've spent two or three or four hours packing. Even though I know where almost everything is, I know where it goes in my backpack. So over the years, I've tried to figure out how to combat this situation. And I've come up with a few tips and I'm still working on a few things, trying to shave some time off of my packing time. So I'll share those tips with you today. And hopefully, maybe you'll have some tips for me. And hopefully we will improve our packing time for photography or just general outdoorsy outings. And hopefully, next time you go on a big trip or just an early morning outing, you get a little bit more sleep the night before. All right, the most important thing that I have learned is definitely to compartmentalize everything you own. For me, at home, I have shelves dedicated to all my photography stuff. And that means that I have, as a wedding photographer, that's my day job, I have a shelf for all the flashes and gels and flash batteries and everything associated with that particular thing on my list of gear. That category of gear is all on one shelf. Then there's another category, there's another shelf for lenses. Lens cloths, lens caps, all that stuff. Then there's another shelf for all of the other random things that I use for time-lapse, like time-lapse batteries, time-lapse devices, cables, and all that stuff. That was what's inspired, actually, me to make this video was I literally had a little cardboard box and I wrote on it time-lapse junk. And of course, I've got a shelf for vlogging or video stuff, audio recording, little random brackets, the GoPro, all that stuff is on its own shelf. But that alone is not enough to help you get packed quickly. What I've found out works best is not only compartmentalizing everything, but having small pouches or large tubs or boxes that you actually keep stuff in, in that compartmentalized situation. Now, you don't have every single thing in a tub or whatever. I don't have all of my flashes in there in, in a big pouch or something. Those are laying out and my lenses are laying out where I can see them. But for all of the small accessories, the brackets, the screws, the Allen wrenches for Arca Swiss clamps, the uh, little audio thingies, all sorts of batteries that go with this or that, they all have a little pouch that they go in. And so I know when I'm getting ready to go, I just lay out the pouches that I need for that particular adventure. Say I'm going on a day hike, but I'm not recording any video or I'm just doing a random quick road trip here or there. I just grab this or that shelves worth of stuff. I grab the bigger items like lenses and put them in their compartments in my backpack and I just go. Of course, the, before all of this, you have to prepare your gear and the whole, you know, a place for everything and everything in its place. This is very important because if you leave something out, one little cable that you forgot to put back in your pouch, you get to your location, you're like, oh, 
need my time-lapse cable pouch. And you look and you look, and you rifle through it, you don't have the Canon adapter, only the Nikon adapter. Or you got your Canon and Nikon adapters, little cables, but you forgot your Sony cable. So you always got to make sure that after each adventure, you put stuff, you do an inventory, you put stuff in its place, you check everything, and you don't leave it somewhere like in your backpack because you never know when you're gonna go from a small backpack to a large backpack. I don't know about you, but I have three or four different camera bags that I use when I am going on various adventures. I have a small day pack like this one that I use for quick afternoons where all I need is a, a camera and a water bottle and some random stuff. And I have bigger backpacks. So one of the problems that I ran into was I would put an Allen wrench in the little pocket or something, you know, or a spare battery in that pocket, that little pouch pocket or something. And then I would leave it there and put my backpack, one backpack in the closet, get out the other backpack for the next big adventure and leave that one Allen wrench or little accessory in the other bag. So whenever I get home from an adventure, everything comes out of every bag that I brought. And it all goes in its place, it all gets itemized. Usually if I lose something in the field, I remember that. And I'll buy a new one or I'll have a spare ready to go that I'll put into circulation in my pouches or boxes or whatever. And that way, when you go to grab all your stuff, the next time you go out, you know you've got it all. So those are the two major tips that I've had over the years that really seem to help and get me to where I need to go quickly. Putting everything in its place when you're done with it and having not just a place for it, but a little pouch or box or pelican case, or whatever it is that all of your categories of stuff go into. Now, I used to spend two or three hours just fumbling through all my stuff, all the junk that I need to take on a trip. And today, I actually got it down to about 45 minutes, 30 minutes for the main bulk of packing stuff. I just said, okay, what am I doing today? I'm gonna maybe go record some video, not recording any time-lapse. Just grabbed the one camera and got everything else, threw it in the camera compartments, threw it in the top pouch, grabbed the water bottle, filled up the water bottle, and headed out the door. Clocked the time, well, I forgot to start the clock, but. I think I clocked it about 30 or 45 minutes of prep to get out the door for a random last minute trip. Not too bad, but I think I could get a small trip down to about 15, 10, 15 minutes of packing. So I'm going to try that next, next time I go out on a trip, see how it turns out, let you know. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thanks for coming along on this quick little day hike with me. We'll maybe have another adventure together next weekend, I don't know. But either way, in the meantime, whether you are out in the wilderness or just in your local suburbia park, please remember, everybody, leave no trace. All right, take care. See you next time. Ah, my old nemesis. Poison oak.